I gotta listen for the clap on Twitch. It's it's already 8:30. I'm sorry, I've, I've missed the clap. Here we go. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is a spooky, fantabulous, spooky stream. This October 3rd, uh, 2022. I hope you are having a wonderfully spooky day. And if you're not, then hopefully uh, this will spook fantastic. I don't know what I'm saying. My name is Buendeo. I, I I had written like some some ghost puns, some Halloween things. I've got no clue what I'm doing. I, how, do you, how do you do Halloween, sir? Anyways, I hope you all have uh, have had a wonderful week and will have a wonderful week ahead. Uh, it is October, um, and also yesterday uh, in Australia and particularly in southern australia stuff daylight savings kicked in so the clock is forward an hour the stream is forward an hour so for everyone else you're gonna be awfully confused by the streams now but that's that's why um this stream i'm gonna be playing resident evil for the first time in my entire life i thought oh, i haven't done a blind run since uh um since golden sun really every other game i've played on streams i've played before i've i know these games so maybe i've not played them for the channel before but, yeah, no. So, let's boot it up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and we'll see where we go. We'll see where we go. Come on, get that. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. So, Resident Evil is a game franchise that I know of, but I've never played any... Resident Evil game. I have various Resident Evil games rotting in my Steam library. Obviously, this game is not on Steam as well. Um, I know bits about Resident Evil, and I think I've probably implicitly watched, I think, Proton John play Resident Evil 5 uh, ages ago. Um, but I don't really remember much. I don't know really much about Resident Evil. The most I know it's the first five minutes of this game trying to run it, just to ensure that I can play it. I love this full motion video at the beginning, and in fact, there's a there's a little bit of full motion video or real uh, people that I, I see. So uh, we've got a new game. Uh, I've also read the manual, so I'm not completely like I'm like oh training right, but the the trick is is that standard is the regular game. I'm running the director's cut version of the game. Um, Standard is not the director's cut, it is the regular game. So if you have just the OG Resident Evil, Standard seems to be the same affair. Advanced is the director's cut. It moves items about, makes the game a bit more um, different, kind of like, I, I guess, the master quest of Ocarina of Time, just a little bit. Training is a, is a baby mode. It's, it's new in this version, but it's a baby mode. But it's all the same, the same game, effectively, so... Let's get in with it. Uh, we've got two characters. We've got Chris and Jill. Uh, I think these are real people that they've taken photos of. Uh, if I had to recall off the top of my memory, I think I know that they're both, like, they kind of go to the same places, but things are different for the different characters. So it's like two halves of the same story. Um, so let's play as Jill because I'm feeling like a sandwich. I know of that one. I don't know if it's in this game or if it's in other ones, because I know both Jill and Chris appear in other games. Raccoon Forest. Nothing is more terrifying than 1998. Ugh. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You haven't found it? No, I haven't found it. He hasn't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon the M Times. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Horror Bravo in Raccoon. The of the oh, there it is. And that's, disappeared. That's where the Raccoon City is. Right there. See? There's a circle. Oh, Chris? Ooh. <laughs> Oh, I love the real grass. How 
cheap is it to get a fog machine? Because like I feel like it's really it's really fun to do those Nobody kinds of shots. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. <laughs> it's a crocodile. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> who um who who uh invented that kind of shot like the 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 um Uh, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I know it's in the Evil Dead, like that kind of like tracking shot that's like from the POV of the the, the horror threat. No, don't go! Don't go! <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a house. There we go. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, oh, here we go. The cast. Chris Redfield. Oh my God. Can you even read the age? I think that says 25. I've got to like look from a distance. Jill Valentine. <laughs> uh, I... Barry Burton. I'm enjoying this, man. I'm enjoying this. My only thing is Rebecca Chambers. Rebecca Chambers. I don't. I just don't think that there's gonna be like full motion. Albert Wesker. I don't think there's gonna be full motion the entire time. I think it's just gonna be uh. Resident Evil. I didn't realize Resident Evil is like properly like B movie though. They have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet. Yeah. I, yeah. Hello. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. The front door is unlocked. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it. Don't open that door. But Chris is. <laughs> Chris is. Oh. What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill. Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Okay, okay. Stay alert! S stay alert! Oh my gosh. Oh, I, I love the camera cuts, and every time the camera's, like, cut to a different bit, um, there's always, like, a pause. And then you got these door shots, but it's just like this game. From what I know, it takes its time. A dining room. Okay. So uh, the other things I know about this game is that it's got wonderful tank controls. I just came out of another game with tank controls, um, and in the manual they actually describe like the controls, and they just say circle is unused, triangle is unused. Uh, L1, L2, and R2 are all unused. Like, everything is unused. Uh, you just hit OK with with X. You basically go cancel with square. And it's also your run button. And then you can pause the game and you got a menu. And this is where you, you can go, ah, equip the, the knife. Or you can check the knife. You get a nice 3D model of it, which you can occasionally rotate. In this case, you can. I think, yeah. This doesn't seem to be enough for this mission. Oh, okay. Um... This ticking clock is a good sound. I assume this is kind of your indicator that you can't pause in the middle of a fight. Or rather, if you do pause, I assume time keeps going. Because that's that's the ticking clock, right? That's what that means. Uh, I've played Clock Tower. I've not played too many horror games. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. You sure it's not jam? Jill, 
See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. I mean, it's not too much blood, and you got no body. I'm just gonna stand in it. Barry is investigating. Okay, thanks, Barry. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that I could take this. Yeah. Will you take the emblem? Uh, sure, I guess. Now, I could take it. I don't know what it's for. Um, so yeah, the other thing is that, uh, yeah, so you equip a weapon and then you can hold R1. That puts you in weapon mode. You release R1, you drop, well, you're, you're not in weapon mode. Then X becomes an attack. Uh, you could look up and down. You can see I'm turning my neck slightly. And you can change from an upper to a thing. And you can turn left and right. Uh, same deal with the gun. Uh, I guess this is as good as mine how good I am going to do at this game. And I know this game's got uh, a wonderful checkpoint system. Now, I've got the knife, but I don't trust that the knife actually kills anything. There's a gun here. Uh, in my first five minutes as Chris, Chris did not have a gun. So, it's locked from inside, okay. It's locked from inside. It's locked. Use the lockpick to open the door. Oh, okay. What lockpick? This, this is an emblem. I can't use that. I can check it. Yep, that's, that's certainly an emblem. There's a scratch. Someone may have used it. Okay. Uh... But yeah, other than that, I really don't know what I'm expecting. And I think on top of that, I haven't played a crazy amount of horror games. So, uh, I don't know what to expect other than there was a zombie here last time. So, <laughs> Look at this guy. I love how, like, muddy the full motion video is. And then the moment he stops, it's just, like, clear as heck because the compression has just, like, solved itself. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, four bullets. Four bullets, that's what he took. He's Kenneth from the Stars Bravo team. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Looks like a picture of this mansion. Uh, he did have, yes. There we go. This is all I know of the game, is the fact that this guy has a clip or not, not just one clip, he's got, he can reach in again, he's got a second one. He had way more ammo on Chris's story though, I'll tell you that, so. There you go. And then you wanted to not hang around this guy, because he got up. Like, uh, I'm really concerned. If you, sh if you shoot a guy and he gets back up, oh boy. So I think I'm probably going to have to, you know, dance around tables. Barry? Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Solid hit right what there. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. <laughs> Okay, sure, I guess. Oh, he's walking backwards. He's walking backwards. He cannot, he cannot handle the approach. Alright. I don't know if running really means anything. I mean, it gets you around quicker. It's a wonderful clock, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Oh, it's dusty. And it's looking. Yeah. But yeah, you'll be pleased to know that I think we're done in the realm of tech news, dominating... Ooh. Wesker! Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Now one thing I also know, and this is in the manual, is uh... Oh. Okay, uh, this typewriter, and there'll be various typewriters, but that's how you save the game. It's just, uh, not now, I guess. Got to search this hall first, okay. Okay. 
back here. Let's go you're back here. I, I love this like 90s like the moment you pass the the part of the scene he's supposed to look at. He's not back there. Find <laughs> anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. The, I'll try the door on the opposite side. The room you this just mentioned is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Why do you not have that already? You, you get Thanks. it now? Maybe I'll need it. Maybe I'll need it. I've. Mm. That's good after already seeing a door. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Okay. This time I'll be there. Okay. Maybe he's referring to something in the past? Who knows? There we go. So if I go up to this typewriter, there you go. Will you take the ink ribbon? There you go. So the ink ribbons are your save tokens. So I can use an ink ribbon now to save. But I'm going to be very concerned if I want to save too frequently. That's the, I, I guess, is this the survival horror aspect is being a bit, you know, like, precarious. It's like, oh, I've only got 30 bullets and I've only got two more saves, like that kind of stuff. I, I, I assume that's where the, the fear comes in. Also, wow, that was a wait for the door. We got this ominous music. You never know what you're going to see on the other side. A woman drawing water. Like watercolor or just a picture of steep scenery. Nothing unusual. A picture of a beautiful woman. Nothing to bother about. Okay. That looks like something on the top. I know you can push these. Uh, I don't really think that's how I'll push this. I'll get there. I'll get there. You think I would have escaped the tank control box pushing puzzle games? <laughs> but no. No, I haven't. I haven't. Oh my gosh. Just push. Are we in pushing mode? Okay. So now if I use this, she'll climb on it. I can't tell if she's just frozen because there's no like animation when they're standing still. Now you climb. There you go. It's a map of one's floor. Will you take it? Yes, sure. So now if I go to my pause menu and I've got the map here. Uh, there you go. So that'll help maybe a little bit. I don't know. Picture of a chubby woman. There we go. Should I be concerned about this room? This room doesn't look like it goes anywhere. It's just a nice spooky U, U bend. Oh! Why did it kick in with the options menu? Maybe it really wants me to know how to shoot people. I did it kick in with the options menu. Can you even open the options menu? Hmm. Oh, hi there, guy. Oh, I, he's chewing my my knee off. Get oh my goodness, that was a good kick, Jill. But probably shouldn't get him to chew your knee. Now your health here, it's either fine or it's not fine. And you use your 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 fade spray. That's all I know. Oh, but he got a, I got another three ink ribbons. 
giving you three seems quite generous, because it means that maybe I'll have a lot now. Maybe I'll be concerned later. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, technology, there's the config again. Why is it coming up specifically now? Who knows? Is there something I should know from looking at this? Like, yeah, there's the buttons. That's pretty much all the buttons I knew about, apart from, I guess, triangles cancel at times. And I can rotate and expand items in the menu. That's about it. That's all I know. Why Why is it trigger when I specifically go into that scene? Who knows? You have used the lockpick. There we go. What's on the other side of the door? Oh no. Creepy stuff. Ugh. Uh, but yeah, no, technology is pretty cool. Uh, I guess the big announcement from last week is uh, one AMD's CPUs are finally out. And nice, let's run. Oh my gosh. Keep running, keep running. They can't open doors. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I knew there's dogs that jump through windows. I assume they can't open doors. I'm really assuming hard. Clock tower has ruined me though. You can never expect anything. Will you take the green herb? Oh, that's a healing. Cool. Let's see, we got this door here. This one's locked. A carving of armor. Is that carving of armor the emblem does not use on that? Okay, cool. That is the door, though. But yeah, that's the other thing I know. No glory in killing things. Just, just live. Oh, they got the mirrors working. Nice RTX, you know? Oh, never trust a, sh a bath. Or a toilet. Nothing useful. Cool. Nothing useful in the toilet. And I'm, I'm pressing X on everything because I'm like, oh, what, what can I use in here? This is just a bathroom. Th this is just a bathroom. There's nothing in here. Okay, sure. Yeah, so, uh, so how about let's talk about Intel's CPUs. Uh, there's not really anything too big to talk about. I don't think I really talked about AMD stuff too much other than price and performance. Intel CPUs, uh... Well, there's nothing really too weird that they're doing from from what I know. It's the same socket as last year's chips that came out in November. These are coming out um, this month, October. I think October 21 in Australia, maybe 20 in uh, the US. I keep referring to my map, but... Okay, so this will eventually hook back up. Actually, no, sorry. That, this is just one room. This is a holding room. Wonderfully claustrophobic room. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, um, but it, it's a new, you know, it's a new architecture somewhere on the inside and, and, you know, therefore, whatever. Intel seems to be releasing CPUs pretty frequently, but the nice thing is, ooh, look at this on the wall. Will you take the shotgun? Yeah. Now my inventory is full. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Or maybe I should. Who knows? Um, an urn with a beautiful picture on it. Nothing unusual. Oh my gosh. Everything's unusual. Or not unusual, I guess. Uh, but yeah, Intel doesn't do anything too weird on their CPU releases either. Um, usually they release the, uh, the 900K, the 700K, and the 600K, uh, CPUs. Oh, this! This is the Jill Sandwich Room. It's locked. Oh boy. It's locked. Uh, do I have to press X on like literally every wall? Or is that a beginner's trap because I took the shotgun? This is a beginner's trap because I took the shotgun. There's nothing on every wall. Hey, what's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Perry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Oh. Leave the door ajar! This way! 
<laughs> oh my gosh, jeez. I appreciate the doors already open on the screen. It's nice fun though, it's like 60 oh, FPS as well. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. There we go! Yeah, right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. <laughs> but Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Did they want to do a trap and they had to come up with a reason why you'd get saved Thank from you, the Barry. trap? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there he goes. That's a bit intriguing, isn't it? Okay. Oh, we got the double doors. Oh! I didn't get the head, so... That, that's the one thing, I guess, I'm, I'm worried that I'm just gonna casually take down enemies and not get the head, but maybe you don't quite have to. I'm not really getting any heads. This is another herb. Can I get two herbs? Can't carry any more items. Leave the herb there. I, I will remember that there is a herb sitting there. Or I'll be nice and generous next time I see it. Oh, and I can save right here. So, that's convenient. Listen, I got multiple saves. Let's use them. I don't know if each one of these uses a different, like, save block. Or whether, like, all five saves fit on one, like, block. Oh, and this is also where you get to store items. So, uh, so I can put, so there's actually clips in there already, but I can put the, um, I think I'm going to put the knife in there. I don't think the knife's going to be that useful if I'm already carrying some stuff. But then on the flip side, it's like, do I need the emblem for later? Take the chemical. That's again, again, it's like. I really don't know if I'm actually going to need this stuff, like, right now. I'll hold on to the chemical. And then I can pick up the, the herb. Or as pe people call it an herb. I don't know if the H is, like, voiced like that or, or not, so. Anyway, Intel, let me, let me gush on it. So, uh, three CPUs, uh, the prices, uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember. But I know that PC Case Gear has Australian listings, if you're in Australia. Um, the prices that are in Intel's presentation are not quite the end consumer prices. Usually they're the, uh, oh my gosh. Usually they're the per 1,000 prices for, um, retailers. So as in, you will buy a 1,000 and each unit in the 1,000 probably costs that much. Oh, that's fun that there's a guy right there. I'm just gonna go right this time. I'm just gonna go in this door. Okay, we are going back a down. Back down. If I go down these stairs, will they s cease to be above me, or like... Because <laughs> I'm thinking like, mm, could I could I cheese it like that? I guess I gotta sit through this. Because yeah, they're not there anymore. If the game's smart enough, it'll probably remember it though. <laughs> um... But uh... But yeah, PTK scared the prices are not too weird. They're, they're between 2% more than last year's uh, 12th gen chips when they came out. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I'm... I... Oh, boy. Oh, you throw up? Jeez. Uh, now that's a caution, so how about let's use the herb. Let's, let's burn it now. He's already up. He is already up. I hope that if I'm going to get trolled, I'm going to get trolled right after a save point. I really want that to be the case. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> I'm just going to hope that the zombies are guiding me on where I need to go, or rather, be where I don't want to go. Oh, 
botany book about medicinal herbs. As you know, there are many plants that have medicinal effects. Since ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we're going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of those plants with medical properties. Each herb has different colors and different effects as medical plants. The green one, the green one, the blue, okay, so the blue one neutralizes toxins and the red herb doesn't do anything. The red herb is only effective when it's mixed with other herbs. For example, if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the recovery effect will be tripled by adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs to create various kinds of medicines. But I'll leave the details in your hands because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. That's right. I assume the book appears in the file. I don't know why there's like... Yeah, yeah. So, I can glance at that again. Uh, which is, uh, that's fair knowledge, and especially, you know, when you get green herbs, it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, whereas, like, when, when you get a blue one, it's like, you're probably going to get thrown off. Uh, I don't know, I don't have a map of this floor, do I? Nah, so it's, it shows you the rooms you've been in. But not the rooms you haven't been in. Um, you know, so the three chips, they're between like 2% and 10% more expensive. I think the 12700K. Uh, oh, that's kind of interesting that like that just loops back around, but sure, okay. Oh, really? Really? <sighs> let's, just, let's just go back around. Um, uh, the only other thing to really say about the chips is, okay, is, uh, compared to last year's ones, they've got double the efficiency cores now. So, the 12, 600, sorry, the 13, well, yeah, the 12, carving of armor, that's still not the emblem. I don't know what the emblem is used for. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, I was like, you're taking more than... Carving of armor. They really like their carvings of armor. Oh. Again, that's the that's the thing. I, I'm not pressing anything too weird, am I? Nope. I was thinking it was like, am I just tapping a button? Someone's gonna tell me like why my options menu keeps showing up in the middle of nowhere. Hi. Larry. Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Something's wrong. Oh, this hall is dangerous. What? Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? It? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. <laughs> Thank you. The Desert Eagle. What'd you give me? The Acid Rounds. Oh, okay. Nice. Did you notice I had zero bullets in my pistol, by the way? Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, jeez. So, I can combine the ammo and that reloads the gun. Genius. I know, right? Um, but yeah, so they got double the E cores, so the 13600K has six performance cores and eight efficiency cores. Uh... The 700K has eight performance cores, and that's the screen again. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it has eight performance cores and eight E cores, uh, similar to the 12900K. Uh, and then the 13900K has 16 efficiency cores, giving it a total of 32 threads. Um, and technically 24 cores, although uh, put cores and asterisks. So. Um, and the efficiency is also up. Uh, it's still going to draw the bazooka it's a bit overkill isn't it oh 
<laughs> it's Forrest. He's been pecked to death by crows. Ah, oh. oh, there they are. Can I just <laughs> get past the crows? I don't want the crows. Oh my gosh. Uh, so double the number of, oh, and there's the, it's the complete option screen again. It's just a select number of hallways. It just always happens when it loads a certain, certain door. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? Either that or it's an emulator quirk. Who knows? I haven't found any shotgun rounds and that makes me hesitant in using the shotgun for anything. Uh, I could save because I could just go down the stairs. <laughs> oh my gosh, like does it really take this long to get down these stairs? It's amazing though, it's amazing. I could save, but have I, am I saving too frequently? Well, I've got that many blotches, I think it's fine to save like this at this point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they seem decently neat. Uh, the efficiency's kind of there, so uh, I think they said a 13900K at 65 watts performs just as well uh, in some benchmark, I don't know, compared to a 12900K at its full 243 PL1 turbo, which I'm like, that's sick. Uh, and then obviously you get some performance gains if you run at 115 watts, uh, the same 243 watts, or uh, its new higher target of 251 watts if you want. Um, and I'm like, yeah, these, these CPUs have a bit of an arms race where it's like they're like both Intel and AMD are pushing each other for uh, super like powerful chips, like the top, basically the top uh, performance. And uh, oh, hi, I'm see ya. Uh, and in order for them to claim the top spot, well, they're gonna have to keep pushing each other for that top power consumption. But honestly, the average person should still look at both of these CPUs and go, even though they can draw a lot of power, you know, if it's easily tweakable. Oh, hi. Uh, oh, I gotta get past this guy. I just realized I like shot him in the toe because I'm heading down to like back up. I can't tell if I'm hitting them in the face or not, and I also am not blasting your face off. Like, they just get back up, so... Popping up a helmet. Nice! Okay, let's run fast. Run fast. Oh, he just, he just gave up after a while. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, other than that, it's a CPU. It performs instructions. If you've got a good CPU and it's doing the work that you want to do, that's a fair call. You don't need a new processor um, because most of them, you know, they support other instructions, I guess, like newer ones. Except for AVX512, that's still not there. Um, it's on the AMD CPUs, which I thought was kind of interesting. I don't know. Okay, real talk. I love, like, you know, crazy weapons. I don't know if I'd ever use them. It looks like there's space in his chest for everything. There's no reason to like really cry out. Um, I like the use of the chemical, but I really have no idea what I'd use it for. Vitamins and serums. Okay. We got a bed. Oh, more ink ribbons. Cool. Sick. And another typewriter. I know I walked like a little bit. And there's the options again. Strange. The music's nice and ominous. I'm definitely enjoying this game. Uh, I haven't even, like, sweated too much. Like, I don't know, I've been kind of just taking a chill. Um... But I guess I've also not, not seen the failure state. Usually that's what like really terrifies me with these games is when, uh, you know, the threat is entirely overwhelming. Uh, like, but like this is like, yeah, bro, I'm just going to run past you. Same thing with this guy. We're running past him. It's locked. Carving of armor. I'm going to hope that I can tell where I'm going. 
There we go. So, I'm not getting too crazy spooked. I'm definitely, you know, you feel the pressure. Like, there's guys everywhere, and there's clearly not enough ammo to take out everyone. Okay, so this is a lockpick door. I'm, I'm gonna be curious, like, what doors, um, you know, you can and can't use, uh, when you don't have the lockpick, for example. Nothing special. Ah, will you take the clip? Yes, I, I will need more of that. It's a big room, isn't it? And another book. Would you look at that? Oh, hi there. They really wanted me to feel terrified there. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott, the guard, alias and Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th. This is the next day? Okay. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. I know what that looks like, apparently. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, whole pig, they were playing with it tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. I'd do the same to be honest. Actually, no I would because uh, I, that's that's frowned upon. Don't play with food. Uh, don't eat live pigs. Kids, don't do that. <laughs> May 11th. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put it on, put, on, uh, put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder. Those researchers never rest, even at night. I've been wearing this annoying space suit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the space suit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They had been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped. At that, at that point, like, why yes, write it in the diary. What could possibly go wrong? Fever gone but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy Scott came. Ugly face so killed him. Tasty. Itchy, tasty. Oh, or is the four part of that? I guess the four is part of that. I say filled last time? It says file. There was one L. Look at this. Will you take the shells? Thank you. I appreciate having more shells. I should probably use them instead of uh, sticking with a pistol. Maybe I'll equip it. Actually, should I... Should, can I put that in there? Yeah, you can. Okay. Alright, inventory management. Oh my god, the shotgun is so massive. Look at that. It's crazy. Okay, hopefully it deals damage. Is that a panel? Is that like a panel next to the bed? <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong button to like keep interacting. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, now these new CPUs are not out yet. But no one Intel, I'm like, yeah, they'll be fine-ish. I don't see there being any real reason why they wouldn't work okay. Uh, but that being said, AMD's CPUs came out finally. And people are finding out information that they haven't really discovered before. Oh, wait. This is the other side of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is back in the dining room. Okay. In fact, I was above the dining room. Oh, okay. So that room's okay, uh, the double doors is still locked from the inside. 
But now I have to lockpick so I can access this room. Oh, that's a door texture and a half, I'll tell you that. Whoa. We got a plant. Is that a piano? It's a really short piano according to this perspective. A fine and grand piano. What is that on the table? I like this, uh, you know, they're pre-rendered textures, but they've done the work of, like, putting your character in front and behind of objects. Like, it means that they've still got to do, like, some kind of depth test. It's just that the actual visual representation isn't, isn't like, too fancy. Okay, who designs, like, these tiny little, like, cupboards and stuff like that? Oh, this would be in the way of something, wouldn't it? Oh, I guess push it the other way. Uh, why does it push like one like moment? There you go. There you go. That's the goods. So what is this? Will you take the music notes? The music notes. Yeah, okay. Anything else up here? Look at the way the shotgun's like clipping because it has to be... Actually, yeah, why is the shotgun behind the bookshelf? Who knows? Either that or the bookshelf is physically, like, actually rendered there. The nice thing about these pre-rendered backgrounds is that they're also, um, like, a good resolution. So you can't, like, pick the, the rendering differences. So if I- can I use that? I guess I could just check the- check the music notes. The title is Moonlight Sonata. Moonlight Sonata is a little bit overplayed, but I'll give it props. Okay, so if I if I use that, okay, now I can use it. Okay, it's Moonlight Sonata. You're gonna play it, Jill? Hey, starting halfway. How are you doing that with a shotgun in your hand as well? Nah, no, yeah, Moonlight Sonata is great because it's not that. You're just gonna stop there, I guess. Will you take the gold emblem? I'm picking up more emblems. Ah, oh, really? Oh, maybe I need the fake emblem, not the fake one. So if I put that back in, the door will open. Alright, I think I need to go back to a box, wherever I can remember. There were two of them. Don't remember where the other one was on this side. Like if I remember from the map. Uh... Like, uh... Yeah, there was a box in the room near the stairs on the right side. And then where was the other one on the on the upper floor? I've got no clue. Jeez. So okay, so I've now gotta carry that. Carry that out. Now this is the other part that I I I get a bit worried about. It's just like are these important items that I need to you know, worry about not having on my person. Cause yeah, uh... Is there gonna be an easy way to get all the way to the other side here? Also... <laughs> I'm, I'm like trying to turn my head going like, which way am I looking? What is like the tiny like... Yellow... Square there? That, like, U-shaped room is the piano room. So, oh my gosh, this is... This is <laughs> fun to navigate. Perhaps one of the other rooms, if I, if I had, to, had to guess. Either that or I should just, like, save and then... Try and do the bolt to get the... 
assume the this room is sacred. Like no one's in this room. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, no. So AMD CPUs finally came out. The Zen fours. Um, the pricing is a bit. Uh, I don't know if it's quite as competitive to to Intel's ones. This is given that Intel's chips are not out yet, and Intel compared against AMD's last generation. So we don't exactly know quite how the two head to head compare. Um, but, uh, like the, the 13900K F costs, I think 529 Australian, the 5600X, sorry, the 7600X costs 515 Australian. So the Intel one is $14 more, but you're not forced into DDR5 and the motherboards don't start at $500. You can get a Z690 that still works with a BIOS update. Or alternatively, you could go even older with a, with a H series. Not older, but like weaker with a H series. Some people are on the fence about the H series. I, I feel like for some people it's okay. Maybe not with the with a K CPU. Um, but I like if I'm just going like, oh, cause the cause. I do look at that and I go like, hmm, the, the Intel one has all those efficiency cores. And given that the, the performance cores are pretty neck and neck. Hi there. See ya. Oh, 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 he's giving me a hug. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Yeah, was this, this was the door with the, with the chess. Like, this is the thing, is you gotta run back into the room with all these people. Yeah, 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 it's got the chess in here. There's nothing on the map that indicates this, right? Like, it was just this room. It was just, it's just this room. Okay. Uh, so I need to put away that I'm in danger? Okay. Uh... Well, that's, that's two bullets, so how about let's put the clip in there. Because there's two bullets, we can figure that out. And then I'm gonna need to, well, how about let's burn the... I don't know what's the difference between the spray and the herb on its own, but we'll just keep the herb. Maybe I should've used the spray. Oh. Uh, and then we go into here, and I'm gonna need to take the emblem. So we're gonna do the emblem swap, because that seems like the logical sense, right? You take you take the, the emblem from earlier, take the gold one, and then you put the, the earlier one back in. That sounds right. See ya. But then what do you use the gold one for? I don't know, it just feels like the gold one... You know, it seems more important. Hi. It's kind of weird that, like, the doors are all locked from one side and then you just, like, go in. It's like, hey, guys, you're around pretty neat, but still, it's just like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the AMD CPUs, the big catch with them that people are noticing now is the way that their, uh, their boosting works. The CPUs seem to just go, hey, are you at, like, you know, 95 degrees Celsius? No. Well, then I'll run a bit faster. No. I'll run a bit faster. Oh, I'm at 95. I'll limit at that. So it gives itself this, like, thermal limit, but it self-overclocks to try and meet that target. And I kind of think of that and I go, that's kind of neat, because it gives you the best of both worlds. It lets you control... I'm glad that my theory has worked. Um, but it gives you the ability to... Uh, I guess, control your power if you want to, but then auto, you know, give yourself some more, you know, grunt uh, if you choose to, to ask for it without needing to really set your overclocking. That seems pretty cool to me. Uh, that being said, though, I don't know, man. Like, I, I was ripping on, like, people kind of AMD fanboying uh, because NVIDIA pricing sucks. And I still defend the opinion that other than you know, a damned if you do, damned if you don't naming scheme with the 4080, two different versions, which granted, uh, I, I would still say 4080, 4090, uh, 4100. Um, the, uh, I guess, like, you know, I, I don't exactly know how uh, any of internet fanboys and even works. Sorry, hold on, let's get it. Alright, so the shotgun is a one a one go. I 
think I'm gonna probably need to clear that guy out from the back, though. Oh my gosh, what is this? It reads, Some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. Am I gonna need to pick up, like, two different, like, colored, like, eyeball weapons? or oh, weapons items. Horrendously small room. I can never get used to, like, rooms with no windows. Like, if it's a little cupboard, sure. But that- that's no cupboard. That's- that- that was proper, you know... Well, actually, that was a little cupboard. But still, it's just like... Uh, I think we all saw the- the- the picture of the- the floor plan. Um... And it was like that center bedroom. Had like no- no route. No avenue of- of, like, getting anywhere. You had to go through a bathroom. Um... Like a lounge room, uh, a kitchen, and then like the living room before you can actually like leave. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. I appreciate the differently colored doors though, I'll tell you that. Oh, that's a fun sound. Oh, what am I looking at here? An old pump. What it seems to be sent from here. The lid is open. An old pump. Oh, I press X twice. Something gonna jump out at me? Should I even attempt to go close? Yep, nope, don't go close. And it's on that side too. That's... Intriguing. And obviously I can't do anything to really see what's on the other side. How is there a window here? Oh, I guess it, yeah, it's open on that end. Hmm. Very intriguing. Okay, uh, I guess I'll go back upstairs. Fine. Fine plan, I didn't care I, anyway. It's a fun sound you get, though. Uh, so I ran past this guy, because he's just waiting there. Hello. Now, okay, uh, but yeah, people are kind of ripping on AMD now because suddenly the CPU is like it goes to 95 degrees. Now, granted, it can it, it's the same deal as the Intel ones, where it's like at the same wattage as previous AMD parts. The efficiency is there. Uh, I already explored over here, didn't I? It was like double locked. It's like locked there, and then here's a numeric key panel, and I don't know the code, so it's not gonna let me. And then, what was this room connected to? This room was just connected to the center room, so I might as well just go to the center room. Because I've got nothing to do up here. Right? And I gotta go through these two guys if I wanted to, like, leave here. Someone put a fence right here. Why is there a fence there? Oh. Okay. So we'll go to the center room and then we'll go out. Uh, but yeah, no, yeah. Like, these CPUs, though, you have the ability to. Oh, 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 get off, get off, get off. Yep. Oh. Well, there's a the death. We did it. We finally died. 58 minutes in stream. Is it a you died? It's a you died. Sick. And then it asked me to load a save. Like main menu. Main menu. Cool. Okay. That's how brutal this is. That's that's the fear. That's the risk. That's the thing I want to get feared and worried about. Is going, ah yes. All that wonderful progress you just did, gone. You know? That's true terror. You have once again entered. The world of survival horror. Mm. Good luck. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. All right, so I've got the shoddy, uh, but clearly I have not gotten a thing. Because I need to go back to that room. 
Yes, okay, so I need to go back to that room. At least I know I don't need to go back there once I get the gold emblem. But yeah, yeah, that is the one thing that I, like, I was worried about. I don't mind, like, having to redo, like, little bits of stuff. But I was, I was worried about, like, ooh, how much progress will I lose? Or how much am I struggling? But even that, that was my first death. I don't feel like I really am struggling. I think it's more just, like, I'm curious where to go. Like, is this game... I'm not, like, lost. I've got an idea. Oh. I think my issue is I just went the wrong way just then. Nice. Um, but yeah, like, I'm curious if it's like, is this just like a key hunt? Like, it's just me grabbing like odd items here and there? Danger! Let's use that. There we go. Hi there. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably getting a bit lazy running past people now, I'll tell you that though. Um, yeah, I'm curious, like, if there's anything more to this. I think the the thing that I'm getting reminded of is uh, I've played the uh, Clock Tower on the SNES and then Clock Tower uh, 1 or Clock Tower 2, uh, as it's known in Japan, on the PS1, which uh, employs a similar, um, like, a uh, fixed camera kind of thing. Maybe I should play Clock Tower later. Um, not on this stream, but definitely, like, on a... Uh, on another stream, like, if, uh, if it's good fun. Because, yeah, Clock Tower on the PS1, it's a hilarious game, and I would actually, like, recommend it. Um, I think everyone knows of Clock Tower on the SNES because of, uh, JonTron's video, and that's a... Oh my gosh, I, I, I kind of was like, am I going left or right? Because I can't tell, like, whether... Ah, oh, no, 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 I've copped it. Oh, no, I'm, I'm okay. I don't know if you mash X or... Oh, this is how I live. I, I kissed the same guy twice. The other guy on the... Uh, uh. The worst part is that... Is there any, like, leftover health anywhere on this map? Like, I'm gonna be in the danger, aren't I? Yeah. So do I just hold it? Like, do I just... Or do I just concede and I just go like, Yeah, no, I don't have this, like, board out. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, no, people are, people are ripping on AMD, uh, for this behavior. I guess the part is, um, it's pretty, like, unexpected. It's not, like, bad behavior, and I feel like it's something you can tweak, and especially they, um, they, uh, advertise a thing called Eco Mode, uh, which is basically the low, um, the lower power mode that has, you know, the performance is still fine. Um, but yeah, the big problem with the eco mode is that it didn't work for the review samples. Uh, the drive or the the UX just wasn't like quite ready yet. So, um, so I can understand like reviewers not talking about it. Um, and the review, but the reviewers were pretty like mild on it. Like they kind of said like, oh, the performance is kind of, you know, the there, but the the um the power consumption is certainly higher. But I'm like, I feel like, uh. You know, having the ability to pick either on the one chip just seems better. Whereas, like, back in the old, uh, the PGA, um, chips for previous Ryzen's, it's like you couldn't do crazy power through them. Maybe you could do crazy power. But I remember, like, power being a bit of a concern on PGA chips. Um, yeah, I don't know, so. Moral is, uh, people on the internet have the grounds to complain about anything. Which, uh, leads me to another segue of, uh, AI-generated art. AI-generated art is hilarious because people are calling it low effort. No effort, even. And, uh, you know, like, oh, you know, it's, it's stealing the spotlight from, uh, hard-working digital artists. Uh, like that kind of stuff. That's the angle you, you get. Um, let's go with this left door. Let's see what's going on in here. Unless it's locked. So what is this gold emblem? What do I get out of this? It's the same kind of looking emblem. Uh, there's a scratch. This is... It also has a scratch. Interesting. Sure. 
Uh, I could go back in the way I came. Yeah, like I might as well I'll just go back through the doors I came. We'll see. If I find more health, then sick. Or if I find a red herb, then sick. Uh, don't push that into the door. But, uh, yeah, I, for me, I don't know, AI generated art's pretty cool, because one, oh hi there. And he's chewing my face and I'm full dead. Cool. I'm back to save five. At least you can mash X a bit. Oh, darn. Um, but AI generated art's pretty cool. I think, uh, there's, there's one network, uh, neural network model that, uh, people are using, um, I forgot the name of it, but it's... It's getting a lot of rounds, uh, and it's pretty good at like generating uh, decently. I think the the main the main uh, creative target that people want to look for uh, is like decently realistic and identifiably accurate kind of uh, depictions. Not necessarily with style, uh, although sometimes if you can insert a style by describing it, that's really cool. Um, but usually people just want to say like. Spider-Man and Elsa playing basketball and they just want like a picture that actually like has that kind of going on um, And so it's like well your models gonna know who Spider-Man is um, Which sometimes it does. Well, I think this one's actually pretty good at doing that uh, And then yeah, like can it put that character can it represent a character in some decently realistic Decently realistic, just kind of, you know, proportional, uh, things aren't smudged or just kind of like, uh, I guess, you know, neural network fuzzy. Ah, oh. I ran past all these people like before and now it's just like, it's, it's struggle town. It's so struggle to get past them. You could say, oh, just shoot them. You got the shotgun. And I'm like, no, I'm being lazy for a reason. Uh, uh, emblem, uh, yep, yeah. take the zombie gone, there we go, uh, but yeah, I, I feel like, uh, yeah, on the, on the topic of the internet gets, uh, offended or whatever, is it the internet, is it just Twitter? Plus Reddit, plus, uh, I don't know. And then, like, you know, where they leak out into other social medias, like, uh, YouTube, for example. It's like, people are always under this idea that, like, if anything bad ever goes near, like, their kind of subculture, or even not subculture, but just their general, like, thing, it's like, oh, it's, it's stealing, I guess, revenue from hardworking uh kind of people i'm like yeah like digital artists like it's it's a tough field i'm not saying it's easy and i'm not saying that like they really deserve it but it's also one where it's like i don't really think there's anything that like stops you know like like if ai art gets appreciated at the same level as traditional digital art or even uh maybe older forms of art like much more traditional than not digital. Uh, what's the what's the one? Like uh like uh like marble sculptures, you know, like marble sculptures are sick. They take so much effort, but when you get it just right, it's like oh, marble sculptures is great. Expensive, but uh, it's like real like high art. I'm not gonna be here and say, like, uh, like using Photoshop or using, um, uh, like a digital art studio tool, um, makes you any less of an artist. Um, it's just like different tools are for different kinds of people and some tools are way more accessible than others. A huge block of marble is usually not that accessible anymore. Like people, you know, don't, can't get one. If you tried doing a carving with a giant rock, like, 
A giant rock is totally trickier than marble. Probably cheaper to get a giant rock. And if, and you could still kind of exert similarish skills, maybe. Is it noting how many times I've saved? That's probably what that number is. I don't know if I've saved too frequently. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I feel like it's weird for people to say AI art is like no effort. Um, I would definitely say AI art is so much less effort when you haven't made the model. Making the model is super ultra tricky. It It's so tough. Okay. I don't want to deal with the dog. I don't want to deal with the dog. No 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 There's probably something on those sculptures on those things on the side of the hallway as well, but let's just leave leave it at that. Uh so okay, so I'm in this room. There's this door on my left, which we haven't identified goes anywhere. Because it's locked. And it's got the carving of armor. And I don't know what's going on there. I assume I'm just going to find a, a massive key that opens everything up. There's this tiny room on my right. I forgot what's in it. So let's go in just to remind myself. It's been an hour. It's probably been less than an hour. But it's, it's been a while. Uh, the toilet room, of course. The toilet room. I don't think there was anything of note in here. It's just the toilet room. And the shotgun keeps clipping the shower like that. Oh. Nothing useful. Can't believe it. I've got a massive plunger though. Or it's a it's a butter a, blah, a butter churner. I I pronounce it very oddly. Um, yeah, I do feel like yeah, the, there's there's internet reactionaries. They're kind of blowing uh, it out of out of proportion. The whole idea that AI art is taking over. It's just like uh, the internet is a place you can't really argue to compete against. It's like if you if you're a, a really good artist, you're probably going to be doing better than a lot of current AI arts anyway. Like you don't you don't need to like feel competed against. It's if if your if your art isn't up to snuff, work on your skills. You can improve. You can you can best the AI art. AI art will probably still exist just because it is so easy. Because people are just going to go. Hey, like, I, I I want this as a prompt. And hi, birds. How you doing? That's not creepy in any way. I love, I love the clothes up there. There's a switch below. Ooh. Ooh. There are lots of switches. End of life. Oh, I've activated the birds. I got activated the birds. I didn't activate all the all the um, switches, but sure, okay. All right, no, no, we're good, we're good, we're out. <laughs> oh, hi there. Okay, he's very dead. Maybe he'll never come back because I blew his face off. That'd be pretty cool if, like, it actually remembers which zombies are actually dead. But most likely it'll just respawn zombies. Wait, outside? Oh, I'm in, like, a courtyard. Oh, I'm in, like, this. Like, the, the little lanky corridor here. This picture by the way makes me really worry this stuff like way out the back like i'm like oh you know i'm looking around the house and i'm, I'm you know most of the house is explored but then it's just like oh there's gonna be like all this stuff out the back here i don't think it's a crazy long game this one though oh hi hi try me try me Three shotgun shells is not making me comfortable with dealing with them, though. Ah, ah, when the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, stars will begin to appear in the sky and wind will blow toward the ground. Then the gate of new life will open. <sighs> mm. 
All of these are hexagons. This is... Ah, oh, I should have known that just like... The survival horror just means that it's a point-and-click adventure game with zombies. I can't use that. I took out that guy just to... Just to find out that that's there. Man. Man. <laughs> I mean, it's starting to set in the, the whole, like, not the survival horror thing, but just like that, man, you know, like... I gotta go, I gotta figure out, like, pieces of a puzzle, remember all the puzzle steps. And all I've got is this golden crest. I've got a key, no idea what door it opens. Uh, there's a typewriter in here, but I haven't really picked up anything useful, so I'm just gonna keep wandering around. I did activate that switch, though. Whatever that did. I got no idea what the switch did. Uh, yeah, I could look back in there, but I don't think I've really got anything in the box that's, like, useful. Nah, not really. Like, nothing that screams out to me. I've got that one chemical from the gardening tools, and again, not sure what's going on there. Perhaps I shouldn't be carrying two weapons, because you've got to carry two weapons, you've got to carry the extra bullets and clips. I'm curious, yeah. Ah, uh, the slow stairs. Gotta love them. Definitely know there's probably another door on my right that I didn't quite go in. Like, uh, to the left from here. Hello, Mr. Crip, how are you doing? Welcome to Spooky Horror Land. Oh, he's not there anymore. Oh yeah, I did go into that room. Did I not go into the rooms past... ...the guy out in the previous room? Sitting in college right now until 1725. Well, you'll be pleased to know it's 947 right now, so... Uh, oh, there's the door. Uh, so you got plenty of time until it's 1725. And there's the, there's the config again. Maybe that's, there's a button, like maybe it's me hitting... Who knows? I have no idea why that config keeps coming up. Uh, for me it is 1559. Already 59, it's only... Uh... Oh, okay, 49. Nope. That one's locked. Carving of armor. And there's the options again. Maybe it's a piracy check. Okay, no, I just never went in this one. So yeah, I don't know what I'm really doing in this game, but figuring it out. There's a very white picture. Wood is put in the stove. A paper is on the wall. What? C can I look at the paper or is it just... A piece of paper. There's a herb here. Have I been walking past herbs this whole time? Because I've just like seen like a plant in the corner of the room and gone, oh, it's just a plant. Not just like it's, a, it's an actual herb to pick up. Okay. Well, there's a red door and it's locked. Coming out of the helmet. Oh boy. So just, just to remind myself. This gold emblem. Like, it's just an emblem. It, it just looks... It's just an emblem. Okay. I don't think of anything that I would really combine it with. There is that massive door that's in the, the next room after this one. That's coming up. Um, and there's the, there's the config again. Okay, that guy's not there. I can't tell, like, when a guy respawns or not. But I feel like you definitely won't have enough ammo to take out everyone, so... If you, if you don't have to take him out, don't do it. So we've got this. This is locked. You got the carving of armor. Using this, this isn't the carving of armor. This isn't what it's used for. I was thinking, that's a real fancy door. 
Hi, hi there. Oh boy. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's super fun. And there's the there's the coffee. My life is officially a joke. Your birthday on 19th of October. First elections in which I'll be able to vote on 15th in Minecraft. In Minecraft? Uh, oh, are you saying like in real life, but you've used in Minecraft as your... Uh... I mean, well, happy birthday on the 19th. I'll tell you that in two weeks. Um... Also, yeah, I just wandered around all these rooms and now I have... Not discovered any new rooms. Like, just, just to say, the one on the top right is fully locked. The one in the middle right is kind of locked. And the one that goes down is locked. So that upper right part is locked. On the left, both of those rooms in the top left are locked. And then on the first floor, I got a full map of the place. But, uh... In the top left, uh... Two of those are locked. Somewhere in the future, Sun, what is your first vote in which you took mob vote 22? Oh, it's just like the official Minecraft, like, vote for the next monster in the game. Like they did with the, uh, the one, uh, that then went to, like, parrots. And people were upset that it went to parrots because they were, like, totally robbed. Because the internet was vocal about one thing, but then the poll showed something else. I can't recall. I, like, I kind of dropped playing Minecraft before it really did monster, monster voting. The carving of armor, the car there's a carving of a statue, the carving of a helmet. Oh, hi there. Okay, we're not going outside. I'm glad- I'm glad that video is there, just to remind you that you're not going outside. Uh, not the president election's not governor. Mob vote. Unless mob vote is like... Is mob vote a phrase for something, or is that actually like Minecraft? You're referring to because that's the only other time I see people use the phrase uh or use the word mob. I'm also referring to a um uh I can I can put the emblem back in Ooh. That makes sense. Uh why your YouTube channel have a five year gap between streams? Because before five years it wasn't streams. It was uh pre recorded kind of stuff. Uh that was pretty much me maintaining my old school uh YouTube style stuff and then I was like kind of stopped. Take the mansion key. The whole place is a mansion. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I used to do um, uh, just kind of pre-recorded kind of let's plays where I just record them in my own time talking to myself. Uh, and instead, I now stream it to Twitch. And then I just upload that instead. Uh, I just thought the stream is much more... Um, free and open kind of way of of doing it and especially because i like the idea of um not 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 editing but as in keeping keeping gameplay fairly intact if a game is bulky and lengthy i kind of like the idea of like keeping that there um uh like when i did uh I, i've got a, a decently popular pokemon blue uh run on the channel from like 2013 and in that I specifically wanted to keep all the the trainer battles in the footage because a lot of people edit out their trainer battles I'm like nah man that's the game you, you can't skip that you you have to you have to accept that the trainer battles are there if it's boring to watch you know Pokemon's from gen 1 we left to collect dust and turn to dust gen gen 1 though is is fairly neat i'm fairly certain like my battery like save still works i should have i should have double checked i should have forgotten that oh my gosh i'm an idiot i'm an idiot for going back in this room 
I need to go back in that room. Well, my brain's just like, you know, the, the, the zombies, but where do I use this key on now? I've at least figured out. At least there's nothing that's like too crazy obscure. Uh, almost six years old. No, that's 2013. That'd be nine years old. I'm pretty sure it's nine years old. Did I do like a... I think I did like a one-off Nuzlocke like run. Because I thought doing a Nuzlocke would be fun and then I didn't really enjoy it. Or I failed it. One of the two. Like immediately. I've never done a Nuzlocke and I think the easiest thing would be just to like... Know what I'm doing before I really try. Which is why I'm playing Resident Evil Blind. That is the end of my health. I, I'm deeply concerned with how little health I maintain in this game. Okay. So it says a carving of armor. Does using the key work? No. Okay. You only got your hands on the internet at a time. I always, I, I do remember I always complain about like not having internet bandwidth to do streaming and back then um, like, uh, we've got a fiber connection, air quotes fiber, because there's, there's a lot of shonky, like, uh, kind of trickery. They did a hybrid fiber coaxial, uh, in a lot of, um, Sydney, uh, and especially my area. Uh, but before they had that, and it was pure, pure copper cables, the internet plans that were offered were just horrendous. It's like they totally could run higher plans, but they didn't. It is better than no internet, yeah, but it was like so ultra low that it's like your upload speeds were so atrocious you couldn't like ping back to servers. You'd get info, and if your info could be gotten in one fell swoop, then cool, but uh, otherwise, you know. Nah. And then, yeah, if you go too old on my YouTube channel, you get me in my prepubescent -pu -pu days. Good times, but... You know, oh boy. <laughs> when it says a carving of armor, I assume there'd be a... Russian internet in 13 torrents. Russian internet now. Torrents. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. What does it say on this? Nothing important. Wait, so the key is just not important. Oh, a carving of a shield. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I've got to figure out the shield doors. Where's the shield doors? Oh, my goodness. Was it a shield on the, the, the door all the way over here, or was it armor again? We've got helmet, we've got armor, we've got shield. That's a helmet, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, and there's, there's the conflict again. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. I gotta watch out for the room with the dogs though. That, that, that's actually like really annoying having to deal with the, the, the demon dogs. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so where am I going? I have to keep it like also like double checking the doors or like the hallways. It's like okay, here's a hallway. Is it safe? Is it safe? Is it... Uh, okay, so uh, turn my head. Uh, the door just here on my right. I've not gone into. That's a helmet. That's a helmet door. Okay, so we're not going that way. Uh, also, they sent two days ago mobilized people from my hometown. Oh, jeez, bro. I'm guessing you're not mobilized, right? But, jeez, yeah, no, I heard about that. I'm like, oh my gosh, like... It's a crazy situation over there. Carving of a... 
of armor. Oh, the shield isn't it. And then if I go out that door, then that's the door with the dogs. So I think it's just best to wander back. That means I've actually explored every single door over here. Maybe it's better to just like, do a reset because I've already taken damage. Let's just do it. I've already taken damage. It's the first wave, but a whole entire bus. Jeez. Hello, doggies. Doggy, hi. Hi, doggy. Hi, doggy. Creepy stuff. Is there nothing here, actually? Because I know I, I would have looked at these. Oh, wait a minute. Why can I push that? There's nothing there. There's actually nothing there. Unless you have to push it the other way. In which case, my loss for not doing that. Also, I was seeking to reset my myself by killing myself because I know I saved out in that main hallway and the only thing I have to do is, uh, to really do anything is to turn back. Good luck for them. Yes, we'll not be able to have phones even just uh, talk to their families. I've, I've bested the dog. This is what I do with horror games. I try and figure out the edge cases and apparently standing right here, the dog cannot get the run up on me. I don't have to play the game now. The, do the dog's given up. Hi there, dog. Oh, he's cute. Oh, now he's got me. Now he's got me. <laughs> Greetings, Blob. How's it going? Uh, that was an intentional death. Don't count it towards my my failure streak. Resident Evil. There you go. It's actually, it's not as B-movie as it originally opened out. Because now it's like, I haven't seen anyone for a while. The dogs are worse than Goombas. The dogs are like bloopers. I mean, yeah, I guess they appear in a... I will not use this, the ink ribbon right away. Uh, but it's like, I hate the bloopers in Mario. They're just, you can't deal with them. Gotta go. See ya. See ya, Mr. Crip. Have a good one. Alright, so if I go back in here, this is what I had done before I'd royally mess things up. So, emblem. Pop the gold emblem into the spot. The bell rings. And you get a... You go in here, and you get a key. That's... That's where I'm at, Blob. Now the... Now the key... Has... Oh. So if I go up to it... It's like, wow, a key. Will you take the mansion key? And I thought, this whole place is a mansion. The, the whole the whole game's a mansion. What's going on here? And then I realize, you gotta check the key. And on the back side of the key is, boom, a carving of a shield. And that's to tell you that it's actually the shield key now. Now that it tells you it's the shield key. So now I have to remember off the top of my head, any doors that had shields. There's doors with helmets, doors with armor, and then, there might be doors with shields in them, and I can't remember which ones have shields. This one is just a lock from the inside door, so that doesn't even, like, directly help me. So it's probably somewhere on this side. Uh, I'm concerned about dealing with these zombies, uh, given the amount of ammo I've got. But sometimes I just keep wandering into doors, not really knowing where anywhere leads. Like, I go in here, and I'm like, ah, okay, it was the room with the diary, and there was a guy who pops out of this cupboard, and it gives you a big, big old fright. I haven't, like, had, like, a proper, like, jump scare, though. The dogs didn't get me, because I was talking over it. <laughs> uh, that was the only one that, like, legitimately jumps out at you. You got this guy. He's kind of chilling. Okay, I'm just gonna walk back so I can get a bit of distance. Here. Sometimes they fall over, and sometimes they don't. What was in this room? What? I just, I'm going in every room for the second time, not knowing which ones are locked and which- Oh, okay, this is the two- the two tiger eye ones. It's like, the tiger's got a red eye and a blue eye. I'm thinking, oh, I gotta get two keys for later on, right? That makes sense. 
if I go right from here, I know this is the, the little shop of horrors room. It's just like a plant who wants to kill me. There's chemicals in the chest. Maybe that'll help. So I'm going to ignore that guy because that guy is in a wide corridor. It's going to be pretty easy to walk past him. Uh, now this room, it's locked a carving of armor. No go. This guy actually is really obnoxious. Let's go right here. Am I out of... No, I still got three and I've still got all my shells. These guys are actually kind of annoying because they're just like chilling. That's a good shot right there. Woo. Woo laddie. Up some more stairs. Oh boy. I didn't even put blind in the title. I just realized. <laughs> for reference, I'm playing this blind. Just, just, just for note. So it's locked. A carving of helmet. Oh, it's another helmet door. And that's, this is the one with the numbers. There's numbers. I swear I actually killed these two guys before, but they're still alive. So, and then the worst part is like you can see there's the the stair room there, and there's so the two doors I just went to are on the north side. The south door just connects to this uh, balcony above the clock room, and that just leads to the center room. So there's no real point in taking out these two guys because they're in a real narrow corridor. So I might as well just go down. But now I'm scratching my head going, I knew there was a door that had a shield on it at some point because I mentioned it in my head. I'd mentioned it out loud. Then I saw the, the key that has the shield on it, but now I cannot find any doors with the shield on it. And now I'm, my brain's going, I swear I've checked every door other than the little shop of horrors room. I guess I could actually just go check out the little shop of horrors room. One shot. I've got one shot left yeah, before I reload. Maybe I should just reload now. Maybe I should actually. Uh, Combin. There you go. Hello. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> We'd be walking past them, so... But yeah. I'm definitely enjoying this game, though. But you gotta... Like... You gotta be patient with it. I guess that's my... My, my Achilles heel. Is the chemical what I actually need? It feels like it's what I need. I mean... It's a little shop of horrors plant, and I'm like, the chemical don't... I don't really think you use it with anything. Unless you do. So, let's give it a check. So, I go out this door, and then I walk past the zombie that's here. And there's a lot of zombies when you think about it. There's a zombie right here, or he's not here anymore. Okay. But if I go around here, there's a whirring noise. Which is a bit, like, worrying. It's like, oh my gosh. So, maybe I go up to this... And it says water's from here and the lid is open. That makes me think I used the chemical in here. There you go. I'm figuring out a puzzle in my head. Do plants really make like this like... Kind of sound? I've never seen plants actually be like that mobile ever. Well, it turned red, so that's a, that's a good sign. There's actually, like, more herbs here as well, so... Um... I actually might take a red one and then combine it, because that's what the red herbs do. So I take a red herb. Are there blue ones here as well? There's a lot of green ones. Maybe I should take another green one, just in case. But I assume I could just come back here. Okay, that's good. That's good that I know that there's a room full of this. And then if I do this and I combine with that, mix the herbs, I do that and now I have 
Mixed herbs. Okay, <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, now over here... There's another key. There's another key. I mean, I guess I needed another key eventually, so... Okay. So this has the armor on it. So as long as I'm not dealing with the helmet once. But there's plenty of armor doors all over the place. That's... Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Because I'm figuring this out. Like... Like, I was actually... I was really worried going into this that it's like, oh, it would be the most old school, like... Hardcore... Not hardcore, but you know what I mean? Like, real... I don't think this is an armor. Oh, this is on. Oh, and it uses it for me. Even better. Um, but it'd be definitely, like, very, like, haha, you died kind of survival horror. But it's actually not that bad. I think this is a... That's a... Another rusty shotgun there. Uh, and that's a clip. Maybe that's actually not a shotgun, but... The desk is locked. Will you use the lockpick? You have used the lockpick. Is that more shells? There you go. The only thing is, yeah, now I've got to carry keys, weapons, and... Maybe I should put away the pistol. Like, as much as I would like to go, yeah, like, I'm not wasting ammo, it's like... Switching weapons isn't the most easiest, and I feel like carrying two kind of ammo capacities is just painful. Like, I feel like, yeah, if I, if I want to hold, like, one more item, I'm going to be screwed. I'd prefer the healing items. Do you need more than one healing item? I don't know, but... So, let's put the pistol away. Someone's going to yell at me for putting the pistol away, but... I've got the shotgun, it's okay. The ink ribbons, I feel like you just have to have them. Um, so yeah. Also, the manual said if you're playing as Chris, this was another weird thing. If you're playing as Chris, you only have six item slots. I assume maybe Chris just doesn't have to deal with, like, certain items. Uh, so I can go upstairs and actually check out, like, another thing. But uh, maybe Chris just doesn't have to deal with as many items, so, like, keys and stuff. This is like, oh, I'm holding two keys, but thinking, well, you got to deal with your healing and your weapon. Okay, so that's a helmet door, and the other one's the key code, so I don't have to worry about that. That's safe. And then, any other doors down here? Can't think of any other doors down on this half of the map. No, actually, I've been in every single room except for the one at the end of the hallway, which is locked from the inside. So. Sick. Okay, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. All right, so. I guess we'll see. We'll see what's going on for a bit longer and. Uh, log off for the night, but until then. Who knows what's gonna happen for a bit. I'm definitely- I'm definitely enjoying this. But yeah, like, no, it's- it's decently approachable. Like, I've- I've not felt like you've had to, uh, you know, like, you don't know what things are. Things seem pretty clear. Um, the gunplay isn't actually that horrendous because you snap onto the target when you pull out your weapon. And you pull out your weapon purely by holding down R1. Like, it's pretty simple and straightforward, which I like. Uh, am I burning all my saves? Probably. Well, I'm feeling good, because now I've got two keys, whereas on that first one I had one key. M Hall 1F. Okay, so... Do I check anything out on the lower floor? Uh, I think I might have the room on the left, but to avoid the, the dogs, I will go above. So is that... Yes, so that's the armor key. I'll still need a helmet key. 
Maybe there's more to the house that I just haven't explored, but... <laughs> What's this Deus Ex thing? An object of art. Okay. Can I activate the light switch? Disappointed. All the lights are on. Various things. More various things. There's something on the table from the looks. Oh, pistol clip. Uh, I'm gonna go no on the pistol clip, even though it would be nice to, like, kind of have that on the ready. I'm hearing something. Is there a guy over here on my left? Is he gonna come out, or, or am I gonna, like, have to go in there? Hi. How you doing? He's peering out the whole time. What a creep. Oh, there's the options again. I still have no idea. If anyone knows, like, why the options keeps opening up. The old Resident Evil games are really interesting. Such interactive worlds, if you think about it. It is a fun, like, nice bit of interactivity. Ooh, shells. We shall take the shells. Have some more shells. But yeah, like, it, it's, it's like a, yeah, it's a nice little, effectively, like, a classic adventure game in the point-and-click style, not, you know, I, I don't want to say point-and-click adventure as if only point-and-click games, oh, hi there. Oh, I gotta aim down. It's a crawler. I gotta reload? No, I'm good. I actually should always keep it stocked up anyways. I think nothing major. Oh, but we got herb. Oh, wait, I'm picking up way too many herbs. Oh, there's two herbs here. I, I feel bad now because I'm skipping health items. I just want to, like, hold all the health items, you know? At least, at least there's more ink ribbons, so that's cool. But I like this idea of, like, typewriters, you know, as your save points. Like, that seems really, like, neat. You don't have- you don't have the key for this room. You just- you just don't. Okay, so I've just wanted in this room- I guess it's giving me items, but... What I'm kind of amazed about is that, like, the virus... to create the zombies... Like, and it's clearly a virus, because they've had a, uh, um, uh, a bit of plot tell you that it's, uh, you know, a guy, like, slowly develops it. Actually, it's even in the menu, isn't it? Uh, oh, here you go. Yeah, keep his diary. Yeah, yeah. And he's just like, oh, I'm getting, like, a bit itchy. And then he gets, like dumb at the end. I love how echoey the, the tiles are, and then it like changes when you get on the carpet as well. It's a very nice touch. I feel like there's a lot of games that just like, you know, seem to miss out on that. But... No, it's really, it's really good feeling, and definitely like, feels like it's utilizing the PS1 as it is, but the style is very nice. Like, I don't think it's doing anything too wacky for the PS1. It's just, it's just fun that it's, you know, this kind of weird fixed camera perspective. The tank controls perfectly make sense as well, given that the camera keeps changing on you. There's more plants. Uh, I was complaining that I was like, where's the healing? Oh, is this Richard, a big guy? Oh. What happened? Uh-oh. Uh oh. oh Jill, this house is dangerous. Y there yeah. Are terrible demons. Ouch. Ouch. You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake, and also poisonous. Oh. Poisonous? Oh, no. Uh, it's poison. Hold on. It's poisonous it if you zero. eat it. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. <laughs> po poisonous is when you eat it and you get sick. Venomous is when it bites you and you get sick. I'm running out of here, so we've got like an objective where I've got to get blue medicine at some point. And it just... Oh. 
Interesting it's now telling me about where to go, but sure. That's just one of my chest rooms as well. It's on the complete op other side of the map, but... That's interesting. Have I got the ability to open this one as well? Yeah. Uh, toxic was contact. Um... Yeah, yeah, I think contact as well. Yeah, yeah. Is this like a thing I can like cover the hole with this? Fun pushing puzzles. Did that cover it? Or like... I mean, I... Oh, the... oh okay. What is that? Is that like a button? Is there a button back down there? Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Weird hole opens. Okay, uh, if I push that, because this looks like a button. Oh, there's a switch. Will you push it? Well, don't push it now, because... I have the feeling that it's like, it's like a toxic gas is going to come out of here if I'm not covering the vents or something like that. Like, why, why are there two weird, you know, why are there two vents in the ground and there's two statues and then there's a button? Like, what else is going to happen? That lowers. The best part is you never know. So what do I get? Will you take the sun crest? Oh, that's one of the, the hexagons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I gotta pick up four hexagons across the map. Oh. That's gonna be painful. That, okay, so also, um... Uh, on the map, uh, you see the, uh, wrong floor. Uh, you see the, the, basically the unseen area up to the top. I went down that hallway, there's a dog, and then there's a door, and the door is basically like, uh, there's a, uh, like a board to the, next to the door, and it's just like, there's four hexagon slots in it. And it's just like, oh boy, I, I, I knew I had to find four hexagonal keys. And that's one of them. But cool. I swear there were two... Oh, there's, a, there's another thing. Oh, my my brain was just like, I swear I had two, like, uh, spots where I could uh, drop off items. And I was like, yeah, because the other one is literally, like, here and down the stairs. So, that'd be a good place to drop off some items. Just for a moment. Hi there, I'm, I'm going down the stairs. Sorry, man. Not today. I love how down the stairs is a completely different room. Just gotta really slowly go down there. So there's your typewriter and then there's a box over here. There we go. Let's put the sun crest in there, because I, I know that I don't need that right now. Uh, let's put the green crest in. The green herb. Am I holding on to... Oh, the, I, no, I just swapped that. I was like, why did I just have two clips as well? <laughs> just show up in there. Yeah. But October brings us to... Uh, well, one, the spooky month, but also, I guess, like, we're starting to get into those end-of-year release schedules coming up pretty soon as well. Um, I'm still curious, like, what kinds of games are really coming out. Like, I haven't really been following. I don't know of that many. They're actually, like, coming out. Why is it? Yeah. I'm trying to pick, like, why that room in particular, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. So is this a helmet room? The helmet room, okay. And then there was a door south from here, which is, I guess, over here. I just kept walking past this. Cosmeteer early access, ooh. 
Oh, this is the the magpie room. Yeah, okay, so I had done this before, but then I had unloaded the save. There's switches below these paintings. None of them do anything. Only the last one does something. This picture is entire from Cradle to Grave. That one does have a, a custom camera cut though. All these birds are just chilling here until you flick the last switch. I love these birds though. It's 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 a great like. I mean, this is why you use the fixed camera angle because you provide a viewpoint that your character is totally like, you know, that they're being watched, that the you know they're below these birds. I guess the birds have this ominous presence. Um, yeah. So I push this, and then all the birds activate. And it's very easy to run past all the birds, but I'm just curious, like. Why? Why did I activate the switch? What does that do, exactly? Perhaps it shall provide some meaning later. Oop, is there a guy right there? Oop, there is not a guy anymore. He is an ex-person. He was an ex-person already. That's how I justify murder. Uh, I could see it check out the last room just to double check in my brain. And I guess eventually I could put away these keys, because I assume once I unlock the door, it's just always unlocked. But... Can't remember which, uh... Which keys, uh... For which doors, I guess. Yeah, so this one I can go in. Okay, what's on the other side of the door? This kind of door makes me think I'm going outside again. Because I am outside. Hi there, doggy! How you doing? That was a, oh, that was a wicked jump, bro. At least the dogs don't hit you very hard. They take their time. Uh, I could pick up a herb. Let's pick up a herb. Why not? There's two here. Okay, we've got a rusty boiler. Nothing strange. It's a rusty boiler. Lots of plants out here. I think this is just a plant room. Like, if you need some herbs, there's six out here. You could, oh, I did, <laughs> get out of here. Um, you could do the runs. You could probably do a thing where it's like you drop off all your keys and then you try and like do the trek from that room to, uh, it's not too far to get to the, um, to get to the box room. Cause it's just, uh, in fact, I'm even going to go in that direction because, well, it's in that direction, I guess. We go over here. Like, you could probably do that, but it it's like... You know, if you're, if you're being a bit... reserved... You don't have to take too much damage. Uh, so, yeah, so it'd be in the room on my right. So I'll just check the rooms upstairs behind this guy. And then... Wander out, I guess. So there should be the guy. There he goes, still there. I want to take him out, man. Like that. I actually realized that uh, aiming up and down is just literally up and down. Like there's no, there's no art about it. There's no like real big manual aiming. So it's like your tank controls. Also, did I just pick up? Oh, this key is useless now. This card. Ah, okay. So now I've unlocked every armor door. Okay. Okay. I appreciate the game for doing that. Mmm. -hmm. Everyone likes good moose antlers. What's more ominous than moose antlers? We got more rooms. Oh boy. Maybe I should have saved downstairs. Ah. I got this, bro. I got this. Oh, no, they didn't even do their beds up. 
Ooh, but we got a red up. Sick. Like, if you got a red up, you might as well combine it with something. I love how the guys, like, prompted me to, like, go to the side, like, room and get, like, his blue medicine. And here I am, just like, ah, yeah, I've activated, <laughs> I've opened every door with the, the key here. Uh, might as well. Don't expect to be picking up too much. But the lighter sounds important. That sounds like a nice key item. Spooky door, spooky door. Alright, what's on the other side? Death and taxes? Oh, more ink ribbons, cool. Do you just get ink ribbons by just like pressing like random like objects? I'm well, searching already, it appears to be a switch. Uh, it's a toilet. <laughs> Maybe I should have read his book first. Researchers will. It's a letter. The top of the letter is missing. The remaining says, Yes, I'm infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I, all I forgot more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Good, bye, and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. <laughs> Crackhorn. Kind of interesting. He's like, oh, it takes a few days. It looks like there's like a, yeah, like a box like next to his, on the right there. So why did I drain his fish tank? Oh, I could push his fish tank. Why am I pushing his bookshelf now? Oh, there's clearly something on the other side of the bookshelf, but... Push this fish tank into the wall, so I'm gonna have to reset his fish tank by... <laughs> walking outside and walking back inside. <laughs> Classic. I... <laughs> no one judges this. Okay, so... I instead have to push his fish tank that away, which then allows me to push this bookshelf this away, and that allows me to access the thing that's behind here, which is... Oh, that was uh, acid rounds. Okay, so not vital, but definitely would be nice. Instead, I picked up the pistol rounds and a lighter. Does it say anything on it? Some fluid is left. Okay. Tip it out. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to the center room and call it. Because otherwise... I mean, I've picked up a lot of ink now, so that's comfy. Actually... Do I check out the, the end room as well? I'll check out the end room. <laughs> This door was open, but what was in there? Ah, yeah. Oh, this is the the shield. The sorry, the helmet. So never mind. There's another green herb. So, okay, okay. I'm feeling more comfortable, but I'm definitely like, I'm anticipating. I'm like, oh, something's gonna like real like. There's the options. I still okay. Someone needs to tell me about the options. I swear. Um. But yeah, I'm definitely, like, I'm feeling the the tension, and that's the best part. I've not felt deeply scared yet, but the tension is there, and I think that's probably the important part, isn't it? Like, you don't have to, like, go, ah, I jumped, you know, oh, spooky jump scares. It's more just like, this is a house full of zombies. 
and there's a guy right there who's about to bite my face off the moment the options menu closes. Get him off, get him off, get him off. Cool. That is the reason why I've got these mixed herbs. That is a bit disappointing that I like saw him and then the the options menu came up because of the the freaking room, so. <sighs> oh well. Down the stairs. But no, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this, and uh, I hope you at home are also enjoying this, or wherever you are. If you're watching this at school, at uh, work. When you're waiting. At, what would be another place you'd watch it? A spooky place. In the graveyard, in the crypts, <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah, no, yeah, it's definitely been pretty good, so... Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this uh, next week. It'll definitely be good fun. Uh, but there we go, eight saves in the M Hall one f uh, But I've picked up a bunch of good stuff. I had a key which I now don't have, and I have a key that I do have, as well as I've got a lighter, and I've got one of the hexagons. I gotta find more hexagons. That's the goal. Uh, but yeah, this exit properly exit. No, you can never truly exit the game. I guess you gotta hit the, the reset button on the PlayStation. So, anyways, with that, I would like to thank you so very very much for watching. If you enjoyed this. Or you missed part of it, uh, you can watch the VOD on YouTube. Twitch deletes the VODs after one week now, so you gotta catch them quick if you wanna watch it on Twitch. But they're always on YouTube, so if you miss bits, you wanna see bits again, they're always on YouTube like 12 hours later, so like usually I go to bed immediately after these streams. And then I wake up, I re uh, encode the video, it goes up on YouTube. All good. So. Um, but yeah, no, I'll be playing this next week. Uh, also, I guess I plugged my Mastodon. It's not Mastodon, it's Pluroma, but who cares? It's the same thing. Um, you can go to m.bandale.com or my Twitter, where everything ends up there anyways, because I've got a cross post. So. Uh, I'm trying to spit out some random opinions from time to time, but it, I, I don't know, I'm just rambling, so. Other than that, I hope you at home, uh, you know, have a good night's sleep, or, uh, you know, stay safe, eat your greens, is that, is that what I always say? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, have spooky horror dreams. Na 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 na. Something like that. <laughs> have a good one, everyone.